So, uh, Silmarillion's update for today. I wanted to talk a little bit about Feynor and his mother and father. Um, so, it's kind of a sad story. Well, not kind of. It is a sad story. Um, so, Finway's eldest son was Feynor, but his first name really was um, Kira Finway. Kira Finway? Um, uh, which meant the spirit of fire, and that was the name that his mother gave. Um, but afterwards, he was known as Feanor. Um, and Muriel was the name of his mother. Uh, she was very skilled with weaving and, and hand, you know, working with her hands and everything. Um, and after Feanor was born, she said, "Never again will I bear any children. For all the energy that I've that I had that could have gone into many has gone into Feanor." Um, uh, the spirit of fire uh, and so she was just really weak and um, uh, Finway, Finway her husband was very sad of course um, and she said that she needed to rest and so she went to the uh, um, to the care of Irmor in Lorien um, and thought that she would just be resting and everything there and she laid down to sleep and she actually died her spirit left to the halls of Mendos um, and even though Finway came to her often and tried to call her back, she, she never came. She never woke. Um, so that was, uh, that's pretty sad. Uh, so anyways, talking about Silmarillion here, and I'd like to have a conversation with Stephen Colbert. Uh, so hit me up, Zoom, Skype, whatever you want. Talk about Middle Earth and Tolkien and all that good stuff. Thank you.